A Q test level hard. A king summons 10 goldsmiths. Each is given 100 grams of gold and is asked to make 10 rings weighing 10 grams each. After one week all 10 goldsmiths return to the king with the finished rings. The king has heard a rumor that one of the goldsmiths has cheated him by making each ring only 9 grams. The king has a scale, but can only make one weighing before it breaks down. How shall he weigh the rings to determine who the cheater is? He can't. There's 10 goldsmith. You can't use the scale once to determine- You can't use the scale once to determine that. My brain doesn't compute. No, there ain't no way you can use one weigh-in. What? No way you can do that. No way you can do that. IQ test level hard. A king summons 10 goldsmiths. Each is given 100 grams of gold and is asked to make 10 rings weighing 10 grams each. After one week all 10 goldsmiths return to the king with the finished rings. The king has heard a rumor that one of the goldsmiths has cheated him by making each ring only 9 grams. The king has a scale, but can only make one weighing before it breaks down. How shall he weigh the rings to determine who the cheater is? He can't. There's 10 goldsmith. You can't use the scale once to determine- You can't use the scale once to determine that. My brain doesn't compute. No, there ain't no way you can use one weigh in. What? No way you can do that. No way you can do that. IQ test level medium, there are 8 pills. They are all the same size and color. One pill weighs slightly more than the others and it is poisonous. You have a balance scale that you can use to compare the weight of the pills. What's the minimum number of times you need to use the scale to find the poisonous pill? 8 pills, so 8? No, wait, 7, because if they all weigh the same than the last one, you know, you don't need to weigh. So 7. But I feel like that's too easy. Um, I feel like that's too easy. I I've... Is this a trick question? A 70-year-old woman walks into a drugstore. She asks the pharmacist, Hi, do you sell extra-large condoms? The pharmacist says yes and points her down aisle 11. About 30 minutes go by. And the pharmacist notices the woman is still standing in aisle 11 looking at the condoms. He decides to go and see if she needs any help. He says, Did you find the extra-large condoms? She responds, Yes, now I'm just waiting for someone to buy some. <gasps> someone needs to come collect their grandma. Hey Lydia, what's squishy, bouncy and comes in pairs? You already know the answer to this question. Stop making everything so inappropriate, chat. We both know. It's two bunnies. <sighs> that. Oops. Hey Lydia, I threw my wife a surprise bukake party. Bukake party? It was a bukake party. You should have seen the look on her face when she realized everybody came. Oh, well, uh, I'm glad everyone came. I hope you guys had a good time. Look up the Kake party. Oh my goodness. Hey Lydia, what's the difference between eating pussy and driving in the fog? What? When you're driving in the fog, you can't see the uptoll in front of you. <gasps> hey Lydia, say I like cops without touching your lips. Why? Okay, I like cops. Okay. Without touching my lips. Okay. I like cops. I didn't get it. Is it going to sound like something? I like cops. Scouts, yeah. <laughs> Why did I fall for that? I don't. I, I mean, I do. Uh, no, I don't. No, I don't. Why did I just say that? Oh, dear. Hey, Lydia. Why don't witches wear underwear? Um... Why should they wear underwear? Maybe they're just being progressive. Ever thought about that? I don't know. Free the nipple and all that. To get a better grip on the broom. <laughs> all that. Hey, Lydia. Why are women so bad at parking? Bad at parking. No, no, no. Women are better at parking than men. Women are better drivers than men. They are way less reckless. Because they're always being lied to about what 8 inches is. Hey Lydia, I bet you can't use your fingers to count down from five whilst tapping your mouth and add four zeros at the end. What? Um, okay, that's weirdly specific. Count down from five. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, oh, oh. Oh no, oh no. Ah! Why'd I just do that? Hey Lydia, why do women close their eyes during sex? I do not know. <laughs> why? Because they can't stand to see men having a good time. 
Yeah, you know what? You're right. You're right, it's true. You caught me. What now? Hey Lydia, you remind me of my pinky toe. Uh, uh <laughs> oh. Why? You're small, you're cute. Aww, <laughs> I thought it was gonna be weird, thank you. And I am probably going to bang you on my coffee table later. <laughs> Whoa. Did you just say probably? Hey Lydia, I went to the doctor recently. Oh, I hope everything went good. He told me, don't eat anything fatty. I said, what? Like bacon and burgers? He said, no fatty, don't eat anything. <gasps> Probably get a better doctor. A man walked into a supermarket and asked to buy half a lettuce. Okay. The boy working there said they only sold whole heads, but the man insisted he asks his manager. In the back room, the boy began. Some ask wants to buy a half a head of lettuce. As he finished, he realized the man was behind him, so he swiftly added, and this gentleman offered to buy the other half. <laughs> The manager approved, and the man left satisfied. Later the manager told the boy I was impressed with the way you got yourself out of that situation earlier. We like people who think on their feet here. Where are you from, son? Canada, sir. The boy replied, well, why did you leave Canada? The boy said, sir, there's nothing but h and hockey players up there. Really? Said the manager. My wife is from Canada. The boy replied, no oh. way. Who did she play for? <laughs> It's not gonna work two times, buddy. Rip your job. IQ test. Okay. An old man dies, leaving behind two sons. In his will, he orders his sons to race with their horses. The catch is, that the one with the slower horse will receive his inheritance. The two sons start the race, but they never finish it, as they keep holding their horses back. Perplexed, they go to an old, wise man and ask him what they should do. After that, the brothers race again, this time at full speed. What did the wise man tell them? Uh, it's not about the money. <laughs> um, do they still care about the inheritance? Um, why, why would they... Why would they do that? That sounds so counterintuitive, no? If you want to see more videos like this, click here. Remember to like and subscribe down below if you haven't already. I hope you guys enjoyed. Bye!